We're not just going to talk about the SEC vs Ripple case and the possible $10,000 XRP spike in today's deep dive. There's another important part of this story that we need to talk about as well. Warren Buffett's thoughts, thoughts on why Ripple and XRP might not go down in value during slump. You did hear that right. And the famous investor has spoken out. His view is very important for anyone keeping an eye on the crypto market right now when the economy is unsure. Hello, CoinGraph market family. This is your reliable source for all things XRP. Before we go, please do me a favor and hit the like button, subscribe, and notifications to become a part of our group. Also, once we reach 5,000 followers, we'll be giving away a huge amount of XRP. You can put your hat in the ring in three easy steps, so make sure you do them all. Put the word coin graph market in the comments to make sure you get a spot. Imagine that XRP hit a huge $10,000. It may sound like a big guess, but XRP is supposed to handle a lot of big financial transactions, so it's not impossible. The XRP ledger could have $1.2 quadrillion flowing through it, which could send its value through the roof to $10,000. But this huge rise depends on one very important thing, the SEC VS, Ripple case being settled. As of right now, institutional buyers see XRP as a security. Things are about to change dramatically. A deal between Ripple and the SEC is almost certain to happen. Two ideas have already been put forward. Legal experts say that the SEC's initial demand for a payment of a huge $770 million showed how angry and embarrassed they were. However, Ripple turned down this offer, which led to a fun turn of events. When the SEC replied, their offer of only $20 million was much more fair. Even though Ripple didn't respond right away, crypto legal expert John Deaton says this would be a huge win for Ripple, giving them a 90% advantage. But since the date for settlement on November 9th has passed with no news, the story goes on. But wait, there's more to come. New information suggests that the SEC may be working on an even better deal for Ripple, which should be made public any day now. Today's video goes into detail about the possible $10,000 price for XRP. It also looks at the data that supports this prediction and the most recent events in the SEC vs Ripple case. Stay tuned as we reveal these great news. We've talked about the upcoming deal between Ripple and the SEC before it's a hot topic, especially since the US. Congress has hinted at how XRP might be used in the future. This makes me think of an interesting question. If XRP is still considered a security, how can it be used? It looks like the answer is that it might not be seen as a defense for much longer. Brad, Ripple CEO, has said that the company has been offered out-of-court settlements but is still waiting for a better deal. Because of this, lawyers who support XRP think that Ripple's deal amount with the SEC might go down. What does this really mean in real life? It looks like a third better deal is being worked on because the first two don't seem to work for Ripple Labs and the SEC wants to settle the case as soon as possible. This could mean that Ripple ends the case against the SEC by paying small fines, maybe even less than the $20 million that was originally said. But people from other countries are also interested in XRP and Ripple Labs. And countries around the world, like Dubai, are also on board. Recently, Dubai's financial officials gave the go-ahead for XRP to be used as a payment method all over the country. The global central bank of Japan has also started to use XRP for deals around the world. Every day, hundreds of banks add Ripple Labs to their operations. This means that Ripple is growing into many more areas than just cross-border payments. The initial estimate of $1.2 quadrillion in XRP transactions seems to be just the start. Ripple wants to greatly increase this volume, which could cause the required price of XRP to go up. In our most recent study, we found an interesting development. Ripple wants to be the leader in a new field. Even though this move might not directly involve XRP, it's clear that Ripple wants to take over a big part of the industry. On July 10th, 2023, a groundbreaking story showed how Ripple is making progress in a $5 trillion market tokenizing real estate. When you look more closely, you can see that this project started with a very important tweet from Anthony Welfare. He talked about how CBDCs are becoming popular around the world and how Ripple has a team committed to them. He focused on how a central bank digital currency or a stablecoin could be used in real life. He talked about these ideas at a CFintech meeting in Romania. They show that tokenization could be the next big thing in real estate. As we look forward to 2024, we expect a huge life-changing crypto bull run. The strategic places we get now could help us make more money during this upswing. Right now is very important, and if you miss it, you could miss a once-in-a-lifetime chance. It's not just about XRP, though. Kevin Cage said that the market for altcoins grew by about 800% at the same time that Bitcoin hit new highs. There's no doubt that 2024 will be the best year for the crypto market ever. And since Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs are almost certain to happen, it looks like an XRP ETF won't be long after. This will set the stage for other top digital assets to follow suit. Now, let's talk about something Warren Buffett brought up not long ago. He is warning of a health crisis that could be worse than COVID. It's smart to pay attention when big names like Buffett talk. They are some of the most linked people in the world. This coming crisis could lead to many new things like a better digital AI control grid and a social credit score system connected to CBDCs in the changing financial scene. It's important for all of us to get ready for Buffett's scary message. No Listen up, everyone. Warren Buffett is the person who has gotten the most attention and work from me. A huge amount of time and thought has gone into studying his investment strategies and timing as well as his moves and the times he makes them. The results are an example of how to be a great investor.
This man has done better as an investor than 99.9% of people in history. This is something I'm bringing up because Buffett's actions helped me figure out how reliable XRP is during rough times like wars and recessions. I'm sure that XRP can be a life-improving hedge during these tough times. If you pay close attention to what Buffett does, you might end up becoming a billionaire by accident. Let's look at what Berkshire Hathaway did most recently on June 19, 2023. In five Japanese trade companies, they have put more money into them. Some of these are Mitsu and Sumitomo, which are both big partners with Ripple. There's no chance there, people. At the same time, though, Buffett was pulling his money out of big banks like JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs. I can't help but think of the Ethereum link and Evergate whenever I think of JP Morgan. Buffett didn't go with them, though. Why does that happen? Warren Buffett may not always be a strong supporter of new financial technologies, but it's clear that he sees the promise in Ripples. In my opinion, this is how the current financial situation looks. Take Bank of America as an example. It is a major player in the U.S. financial field and a leading Ripple partner. I think that Bank of America is getting ready to make a big move that could open up a lot of new financial opportunities. And this strategic stance could be why Buffett likes them more than other bank stocks, especially now when the economy is uncertain. More can be found by digging deeper into Berkshire Hathaway's holdings. It's interesting that Buffett not only has a big stake in Bank of America, but it's also his biggest investment worth an amazing $1.03 billion. This shows how sure he is in their direction, which is especially important now that a slump is coming. It looks like Buffett thinks that Bank of America will be better after the recession, thanks in large part to their part to their partnership with Ripple. Moving on to ISO 20022, there is an interesting development regarding HSBC. A short paper shows that HSBC and its partners will accept changes to digital assets in 2023. By looking at the moves this November, it's clear that these events are not ran to. The decision for HSBC to use Ripple technology is a smart one. Ripple's recent purchase of Medeco and HSBC's news of a partnership with them also mark a huge change. Ripple is about to change the way banks, other financial companies, and payment providers around the world do business. In a sense, standard money transfer companies are changing into Ripple companies. People who have invested in XRP are living through a very exciting time. Everything is coming together and Ripple's power is growing. This is preparing the world of finance for a huge change. Don't forget that I'm not a licensed financial planner. The information in these movies is only meant to be entertaining. Before making any financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own study and talk to professionals. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to hit the follow button and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, make sure the alerts are on so you know right away when I post something new. In the next movie, I can't wait to catch up with you. Be careful.